Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you're watching it live on Twitch, this is an emergency um, video I'm doing on Twitch and on YouTube. Of course, if you're watching it, please subscribe and like. Before I do, let's get into it. This is the absolute the top of uh, Celtic's embarrassing season. This just tops it off. As Nicholas Sturgeon said about Glasgow staying in Tier 3, I'm just going to... I'm, I'm, I'm. This just shows... You, you, you cannot trust Celtic at all. Like... I mean, it just comes out about, this came out about 10 minutes ago, Celtic's move for Eddie Howe collapses after talks break down over his backroom team as pressure mounts in Scottish Giants to appoint Neil Lennon successor before pre-season. We're talking days, but we're talking days before, um, you know, we're talking like 50 or 60 days till the first Champions League qualifiers, we're talking pre-season now, and it's also saying, I'm going to read it in a minute, of, um, this is from the Daily Mail, um, they're also talking about... Um, they're looking at the um, their advanced talks with the second choice. How's that going? To, how's that going to fill Eddie Howe's void now? Void now. This should have been done weeks ago. The bathroom staff, like if we done weeks ago when I asked them, and it's come to this. And I knew I feel, and I got a feeling when they, when they, um, when they came out and said about the um, about the season tickets, and they came out with the season tickets, so people could think just for that wee bit of hope they were getting Eddie Howe. Buy their season tickets for five hundred pound and watch this fail, this deal fail. It's a joke, an absolute joke from Celtic. The highest level of joke, if, if you know, of banter this season. I am not even joking. Um, Celtic's lengthy request to land Eddie Howe as a new manager has collapsed, and the party club have now entered advanced talks with another candidate. And we're talking about, I think it's the, I'm pretty sure it's the, what's it? The, I can't remember the old Borussia Dortmund manager. I'm not too sure his name. I mean, some people could say it's worse. I mean, this season, it's just gone from worse to, for Rangers fans and anybody else except from Celtic fans, historic, eh, not historic, laughable, um, banterable, embarrassing, absolutely embarrassing from the highest level from Celtic. Um, and to let this deal go through, to let this deal collapse like, like the way it has been, for months, for two, say at least two months and a weeks, we've been talking about Eddie Howe, when is he coming, I've been saying it on the channel, he's in Vans Talks, he's got the backroom staff, look what happens now, it's an absolute joke from Celtic, absolute joke, Um, I mean, they did, there was obviously rumours and stuff like that, Eddie Howe talking to them at Desmond and, um, you know, early weeks saying, oh, we're going to announce it after the season tickets, we hope to appoint him, but then, but, you know, um, you know, the, as I was saying here, the Scottish Giants hope to unveil their number one target to replace Neil Lennon early. It was this week, um, the seventh Sunday night, night this week coming, but no. Um, despite Bournemouth's defeat, we were thinking to Brentford, well, ah, yes, Brentford, we knocked them out, that means all oh, the, 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 the bathroom staff now could come to Celtic. But now, the bathroom staff don't, I don't want to come up north to Scotland or just don't want to move from Bournemouth. Um, the the technical director Richard Hughes, first team coaches Stephen Purchase and Sam Wilson to Glasgow ended collapsed when I was unable to assemble the team he wanted. It's absolutely joke, absolute big joke. The forty three year old held primary talks to Celtic's major shareholder Dermot Desmond, as I said in London two months ago. Two months ago, that's an absolute joke. We Celtic is no longer in a state of. You're thinking two months ago, oh Eddie Howe's coming in two months ago, we'll be sorted for next season. Mate, it's the end of May. We are not even got a manager. We've not got a, a director of football, we have not got a clue where we're going in this summer. And I knew for a fact when them, in a statement launched in the season ticket rules on Wednesday, Celtic told an increasingly irate fan base of plans to finalise the appointment of the next manager shortly um, and, and they believe they had their man there you go this that, I, I, I'm actual I'm I, I'm actual Scott I'm shocked um, with players due back for pre-season training on June 17th pressure to get a new boss yeah I mean you're talking June 17th when players are back um, I mean that's not even when the Euros are finished but um, when like uh, I mean, there's a good one out from a couple of Celtic fans saying if this, this story is at, like, apparently, uh, hopefully, uh, if this story is obviously really true, which wouldn't surprise me, of course. It, it does not surprise me from Celtic, especially this season. It won't surprise me. You'd think the club 
would have learned from the past with letting top managers have their own tools succeed, apparently not. I mean, you let, see, a couple of years ago when you let Ben Rodgers bring his own background staff in, look at the success they made. And then you change it to uh, Neil Lennon, don't let him bring his own background staff in. Look what happens, right? Just look what happens when you do that, you know what I mean? It, it, it's truly embarrassing. It is, it's absolutely embarrassing. I mean... I'm, I'm shocked. I'm mere and shocked, but... So, you know what Celtic fans, if you're watching in chat, comment what is your thoughts after this man, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm mere and shocked, I mean I could say I'm mere and shocked that I'm scunnered by that, but it, it doesn't surprise me. I, I, I'm mere and shocked man, it's just... I have no, I have no nothing, I've got nothing for us. I, I mean, <sighs> I mean, from Celtic, absolutely, from the highest level. I mean, people have made bloody songs about me that. So, it's the, I mean, people are making videos, I made a video, um, I'll go on my channel in a second, um, but I'll end this, I'll, I'm going to end this video guys, please thanks for watching, please subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys very soon with a hopeful, better mindset of going into the summer. Peace.